Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your plugins. The plugins are brought to my attention by notifications. You can get these notifications set up on your Moodle site. This is uh, the Moodle site, and notice there is a newer version available, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to upgrade for every plus because I already have 3.10.3, .3, but I will upgrade this plugin that's available. And the only way I know that plugins are available is because I'm connected to Moodle.org. So I clicked on the link. It takes me to my site. Notice over here, I'm already logged in, and it takes me directly, if I'm logged in, to install plugins over here. I click on install. It's so easy, but be careful what you're updating. All right, so notice it gives me a warning. Okay, pay attention to that. And then I'm going to click on continue over here. Make sure that there's no maturity involved. Generally, there isn't with the updates. Click on that continue, and then I'm going to click on continue as I go. Notice it's also telling me what I am up dating here all right so make sure that everything is okay here if it's not let me know in the comment box below so i can be of help click on continue notice if everything's worked till now it should continue working but sometimes it doesn't so whatever you're doing please ask in the comment box below before you update or upgrade anything. Just let me know to make sure that everything is working. Click on continue. It's taking me to another page. Notice again, it's H5P that I'm upgrading. I'm going to click on upgrade Moodle database now. Click on that and wait for things to happen. There going through be patient you might see a blank page for a little while don't panic just let it work on its own and it will go on to the next stage sometimes it takes time depending on your connection and on your Moodle site make sure that you're not using shared hosting I couldn't stress that more pay a little more but do not if you've got questions about that let me know in the comment box below where to host and what is required you can also find it on moodle.org so I've clicked on that and it should be up that's it okay that's the information and it's done make sure that you check with me you're going to save yourself a lot of money by asking before you upgrade or do anything to avoid problems been doing this since 2003 had lots of problems faced a lot of issues and good friends helped me through it by not charging me but sometimes i also had to pay so uh, let's stay friends so you don't have to pay for the mistakes but avoid them just ask and subscribe to my channel for more if you've got a video you'd like to see also let me know in the chat box enjoy your moodle site happy moodling and i hope your students and teachers are happy too